But before we go in the garden, obviously yesterday I normally post a vlog. I don't normally post like a vlog today. And it was going to be choosing the puppies' names. But something exciting just happened. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're just having a pretty chilled out relaxed day, hence why I'm not looking rather presentable. But I'm actually now gonna be making some scones. Like I'm really addicted to making scones at the moment. So I'm gonna be attempting to make some cheese scones and I'm really annoyed because I went all the way to the shop to get some butter and all the ingredients and then I thought I'll get some chives to make cheese and chive um, scones and I forgot to get the chives. So at home i actually have some chili so i'm gonna make some chili and like cheese scones i think that'll be nice and then i'm gonna make some normal like fruit scones as well this is the recipe i use it's from like bbc good food and it's just classic scones with jam and clotted cream and this is like all the ingredients it's like self-raising flour salt baking powder butter caster sugar milk and vanilla extract which i forgot to get but you don't need to add that if you don't want to and some eggs and lemon juice but you don't also need the lemon juice but the eggs is nice to like put on top of the scones and then for the cheese if you just want cheese and instead of adding like fruit then you just add obviously like between 50 to 100 grams of um red leicester cheese well you can add any cheese but i think the red leicester kind of cheese would be like the nicest so I'm going to attempt to do that. Hopefully they'll turn out right because I've never done cheese before. But, you know, fingers crossed they come out because that's what we're having for our lunch. So, yeah, I've got all my ingredients out. The kitchen is still looking a bit... Well, this is all clean. It was just from the day before. But, hello, Moles. What are you doing, Moles? Are you helping Mummy make scones? Are you helping Mummy make scones? Yeah? You making our Mummy make scones? Yeah? oh that's very very hot outside isn't it mom at the moment it's like 23 24 degrees so we're literally having a barbecue today a saturday today by the way and then tomorrow we're going to be having another barbecue because we thought you know why not get like it in when it's nice and sunny so i've got all my barbecue food in my fridge i've got things like potato salad mexican like um, coleslaw and then I've bought like crisps like rice and loads of other stuff to have and I'm gonna make my own kind of like salsa like um, with like pepper salt cucumber and tomatoes I think that'll be really nice so I'm now gonna crack on and start making my scones washing up that's like the worst bit like after you do the really nice bacon as a washing up but the scones are in the oven i don't know if you can see them or not but the cheese ones are on top oh you can't really see them and then at the bottom there's the fruity ones and the buzzer just went off but it says seven two that's not the right time the buzzer just went off but they usually need a bit longer but oh my goodness look at them they look so good I'm going to put them on for another five minutes. They usually say 10, but for some reason mine always need a good, like, 15 minutes. Okay, so while they're cooking, I thought I would show you what's in this month's glossy box, because it literally just now arrived. 
So Glossy Box kindly every month always sends me a gifted Glossy Box. So this is July. So I know it's still in June, but it's obviously coming up to July like in a couple of days time. So I thought I'd show you it now so you can literally get first eyes on it and also they gave me an exclusive discount code which is harriet20 so you can get 20 percent off so usually the box would be 10 pounds plus pmp but with like the discount it's only eight pounds plus pmp and honestly you get some amazing stuff in here i'll put the link and everything down below in the description box but this is what it looks like inside they do like this really cool like little leaflet now so it basically tells you like what's inside your box how much it should cost retail then it also gives you like a little sneak peek what is in next month's box and next month's box oh my goodness it's a huda beauty lip gloss i haven't actually got a huda beauty lip gloss i've got the powder oh it says it's our birthday next month and we're making a special occasion the only way we know how with pink sparkles and glitter so oh my goodness definitely like oh, definitely can't wait for next month to arrive they like, literally them lip glosses are like 18 pounds and this box is like only what eight pound with my discount code so it's so definitely worth it but anyway this is a special holiday edition box so it's got like all of your holiday essentials in here which i'm really excited about because last month's sneak peek was the moroccan oil which i absolutely love this is what most hairdressers use and i absolutely love so oh my goodness there's so many nice stuff in here I'll, i'm gonna not look at this i'll look at that so i can tell you how much the prices should be like retail but this is what it normally looks like it's always wrapped up really beautifully like honestly i absolutely love glossy bucks luckily i'm quite lucky that i get them gifted if i didn't get them gifted i definitely would join because it's so worth it okay so this is what it looks like with all the goodies so the first thing we have oh my goodness it's my favorite a mask it's a tea tree witch hazel peel off mask and it's meant to deep clean and tighten pores and remove blackheads so that's perfect to get ready for like your summer skin so this is from boots and this normally is one pound and it's meant to be like their travel size one i think everything in here is like travel size so it's like perfect when you go on holiday so yeah that's going to be really nice just to get my skin ready for the summer because i don't know if you can see at the moment i've come out on loads of little spots which is like super annoying so the next thing i'm going to pick up which i don't think i've ever seen before is a cleansing foam but uh, this is what it looks like close up excuse the bottom of my nails but obviously i've probably got a cake load of like scone mixture underneath so this is the travel size and this is normally 18 pounds and full size is normally 4 52 pounds sorry oh should we see if it smells nice oh it's got a little lid on it oh it smells lovely it does smell like you're like in a spa or something that is well nice oh i can't wait to use this and this also helps like remove your makeup which is really good so the next thing we've got in here is a palmer's coconut oil natural bronze body lotion a gradual tan for all skin tones oh that's quite good it's uh, made with natural based tanning ingredients and this normally is um for 5.99 for full size and then 2.49 for this a travel size look how cute that is this is going to be perfect for like taking on holiday with you it's got 24 hour moisture in moisturizer as well so the next thing in this box which i'm really like intrigued about because look at the packaging it's like all swirly so this is uh mana Cada cosmetics probably totally pronounced that wrong but it's a blue mascara it says when you've got a golden tan sometimes the only makeup you need is a touch of mascara to make your eyes pop boasting a cotton edge wand with ultra dense bristles this mascara will give you longer and fuller looking lashes better yet it's a hydrating formula ensures a clump and flake free finish and this normally retails at 23 pounds and this is the full size one as well i'm going to open up so you can see what like the brush actually looks like look how lovely this packaging is this is just like actual really beautiful packaging oh so this isn't a normal wand that i would normally like go for but you know i'm up to like trying new things i know it sounds really weird that i'm sniffing it but i got a mascara the other day and it smells like perfume Mmm, smells really nice. It smells like a really nice, like, 
shampoo honestly it smells well gorgeous i didn't expect it to smell i just thought it was the other one that i got the other day it was just like a random smelly mascara i can't wait actually to give that a go for the last thing in my glossy box which i'm so super excited about receiving so this obviously is the travel size so the travel size is 25 mil and that's normally worth 13 pounds 45 and then the full size is normally 100 mil and that is normally 31.85 but this is what it looks like i absolutely love this stuff sorry i have to keep like stop recording and going out to check up my scones to be honest they haven't come out as good as they normally do okay i'm just gonna open up so i can show you like the cute little bottle look how cute it is like my hairdresser uses this all the time and afterwards my hair always feels like absolutely gorgeous so i actually can't wait to try this this is just so super cute and the perfect thing about it is normally when i go on holiday i always like to bring like my oil with me like my hair oil but it's in like a massive pot and i have to try and pour it into like a little travel size pot and like oil is like the worst thing to try and like transfer so this is like perfect i've got like my perfect little travel oil hair treatment to take on holiday with me and i'm super excited about trying this mascara like i think this is actually actually gonna be really nice like it's gonna it just smells so gorgeous honestly i can't describe the smell it smells so lovely so i'm now gonna go and show you my scones guys which i'm so super like gutted about because normally like i've showed you my scones before on my instagram so if you don't follow me on instagram then you need to go and follow me because then you can keep like track of what i do when i'm not like actually posting videos um but i posted a picture the other day sorry i'm going through the house i posted a picture the other day of like my scones and like i this is like the fourth time i've made scones the last three times they went really well obviously this time I kind of split the ingredients and everything and I think I kind of like rolled it out too much and I think they look more like rock cakes. I think inside they'll still be like scone texture but they look like, ugh, I don't know, I just feel like they look a bit too like rock cake-ish if that makes sense. Look, they're still really big and look really nice but normally like they puff up and go a bit more fluffy. But I don't know if I've, I don't know if I put too much air in it or something. I'm not sure. But the cheese ones actually came out looking all right. They're not as big as they normally come out, but um, they still look obviously really nice. I'm really looking forward to trying them. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad about the mother ones just because I bought loads of like really nice like jam, strawberry, raspberry, cherry jam, and then also I bought some like clotted cream to have with them. And like when they're not just looking that nice and they normally do, it's just like, oh. Uh. Anyway, guys, look outside. Look at the sky. Look how beautiful everything looks. Like the pugs are absolutely enjoying the garden. Here they come. Come on. <coughs> Yoo -hoo. Here come Rosie. I don't know why Grace is barking at me because she knows it's me. Hello, Rosie. Hello darling, it's a bit hot outside. Oh look all them spider webs. Oh I'm leaning right near them as well. Hello Rose. What are you doing, Rosie? Wait, don't eat that. Wait, she's fighting with me. Can't eat that, that's a stone. Oh, hell Miles. Oh, here come Mazzy. Right, Maz? It's a bit ha hot outside for them, so we leave the conservatory and all the doors open so they can go it back inside the house and stuff. They actually have their own like little pop-up tent, so they can actually go inside the tent if they want, if it's like getting a little bit too hot outside. Oh, here come Gracie. Hello, Grace. How you doing? You having a little break from the puppies? I think the puppies are all asleep, so she likes to go and have a little break. But yeah, uh, I think it's like nearly one o'clock and I still haven't been outside in the sun. Literally, I woke up this morning, done some house cleaning, swapped over the puppies' beds to like new bed linen and um, yeah, done a bit of washing, done some shopping, made some scones. And now I think it's time to go and relax in the garden. But before we go in the garden, obviously yesterday I normally post a vlog. I don't normally post like a vlog today. And it was going to be choosing the puppies' names. But something exciting just happened, like with the puppies. So I'm going to turn off this fan so you can hear me. So I was going to do a video on where I named the puppies, where you guys chose the puppy names. So there's still time if you want to. So comment down below all your puppy names. 
Then I was going to do a video on the pug puppies opening up their eyes because they should really be opening their eyes about next week, but they've opened their eyes up early. I think the little girl only has one eye open, but um, yeah, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably don't know this, but I kind of like mess up the sexes. I think while like, you know, she was giving birth and stuff and it was quite dark, it was like a bit like awkward looking and everything. And so yeah, I've obviously now they're a bit older and I can like pick them up and everything because Grace trusts me to do it. I I've had a double check there's actually one girl and three boys i originally thought there was two boys and two girls then i thought they were all boys but now i finally like double checked because i can like pick them up properly now and there is three boys and one girl and the girl's only got one eye open so yeah um in that video also i got loads of negative comments about you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do that you shouldn't touch the puppies you shouldn't cut the cord and everything but at the end of the day guys you only see what i recorded like there was many times where i actually rang up the vets asking for like advice and then also you didn't see the bits where like grace was actually biting the cord too close to like the puppy's stomach and she was like really pulling on it and dragging the puppies and she was not interested in like opening up the sack at all and so i done that and i also cut the cord because in the end grace needed a bit of help like literally she was in labor for like eight hours and like when it came to the last puppy she was like mega struggling for like a good three hours so i everything i done was in her best interest so all the negative bettys out there the puppies are all fine they're all healthy so yeah if i done something wrong they wouldn't be nice and healthy so yeah i'm proud of myself and thank you for everyone that actually said congratulations and i've done a good job because yeah i did do a good job and yeah so i don't really care what all the negative people say but i just wanted to clarify a few things for some of you that maybe were like a bit interested in like oh why did you cut the cord and things like that and it's because obviously i only done it because grace really needed my help and stuff normally pugs actually really struggle with giving birth and stuff and grace actually done a really good job even though obviously i did help open up the sack and cut the cord she done literally everything on her own and she done so so well obviously with the last puppy which was the a little it was a little boy he actually came uh tail first so that was why she was having trouble with the last puppy um so she was really struggling there but i managed to like you know help her like give her encouragement and she finally pushed the last one out and also another thing is you i did mention like when we done the scan we thought there was five pups but not that sometimes the scan isn't always accurate and in the end there was only four puppies so just in case you wonder where the fifth one was there was only four but i'm happy there was only four because literally when it comes to the fourth puppy she was struggling so much but i think they've just woken up and they've just gone to, for feeding now oh no they're all asleep oh are they all asleep you having a little snooze with oh look you can't really see her face because she's like camouflaged in the dark but oh she's asleep with look there's one there one there then there's the little black brownie one there and then the little girl is just down there but i was going to show i was going to show all everyone oh no the girl's there that's the that's the tubby one that came head first no tail first but this is the little girl she's so cute we actually already have a name ready for her but um yeah i was going to show you oh, i'm trying to get back out underneath the tape i was going to show you like the puppies with the eyes open but they're all asleep so we'll come back in a minute when they're actually awake and when um they're all like all chilled out and grace doesn't mind me picking them up like literally she's really good she lets me pick them up all the time and check on them and everything she really trusts me which is really good because i've got a really close bond with like all my pugs especially molly but um grace we've been bonding loads since she's had the puppies which is really nice but yeah once they wait have woken up then i'll get them out so you can see them with their eyes open because like they're so cute like honestly they're adorable so this is the little boy and look at his face he's so cute so he's got like brownie kind of like markings white paws and then a little white stomach but he is so adorable rosie no get down darling oh i think he wants to be put down but look how cute he is and his eyes are open but oh i think he just now had a little wee on me <gasps> he did he just had a little wee on me oh no little tinker get down girls so this is the little girl and she's only got one eye open that's this eye hair but that's the only one that's opening the other one opens slightly but not much yet 
she is so adorable like i absolutely love her like look at her markings it's so lovely and she's got a little white patch there then a little white patch on her head because her little brother has got similar markings but her brother is like much much bigger than you isn't he but look how cute ah so adorable like oh they're so cute i want to keep them all i want to keep you all this is the other boy and he's the one that looks like the little sister but obviously as you can see he's just got one little white patch and he hasn't got like the half coloured face so like the little girl has half brown then half like a paler kind of like champagne brown but look how cute he is oh he's still tired see oh you can kind of see him with his eyes open what are you doing darling you're not gonna wee on me as well no he's asleep bless him she can't see his eyes but He's the one that absolutely loves your food, don't you? As you can see, because look how big he is. So cute. <gasps> look how adorable he is. But this is a good chance to have a little closer look at him. And then maybe that can help you decide on the name more. Oh, are you tired? <laughs> are you tired, darling? We'll put you back. And here is the last one who just weed on me as well okay they're all weeing on me but look how adorable he is that he's got both his eyes open there he's got little white paws and then he's got these really nice markings i don't know if you can see the coloring but that color there is like a silvery kind of like bluey tingy color oh look <laughs> he's so cute you opening up your eyes yeah Oh, I think they're all tired now. You were playing a minute ago. Now I get the camera out. You all go to sleep. Oh, he is so, like, soft. Like, their fur is so soft. <laughs> He's so tired. But look, he is so adorable. Look, look at all his colourings and that. But look how big he is compared to the other ones. He's massive. You are massive, aren't you, darling? Should we put you back now, yeah? Come on, then. So that's all the little pug babies. I think I got them all out. I'm hoping I did. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyway, that's the end of the video today. Remember, don't forget to comment down below in order of maybe like the puppies I showed you. So the black one first, then I can't remember how, what I order I put them in. But um, comment their names in that order. And then I'll know which like boys you're talking about. But obviously there's only one girl. But we've, we've got a name already for the girl. But please leave your suggestions anyway. Because it'll be nice to hear them. You never know. I might end up changing my mind. But um, yeah. I want to choose some temporary names to call them. Because obviously the new owners can decide to keep the name. Or can like obviously change the name if they want. It'd be really nice if they keep the names. But yeah. It'll be nice to call them like by a name rather than boy one boy two um girl and boy three but yeah i hope you did enjoy this video just kind of seeing what i get up to like what i was getting up to today and obviously getting to see the little pugs and them with their eyes open even though they're mostly sleepy so guys i'll see you in the next video i love you all bye